I encountered this uh, post on LinkedIn about Jack Ma and his, uh, and his employee. This uh, this female employee started out with him from even <clears throat> during the early days of Alibaba. He promised her um, stocks, shares of stock, which he, which he did give. Then she'll get paid. I think he promised her um, 100, I think 100 billion. Hundred billion dollars once uh, once it goes only I think hundred million once it once it goes public. So, nagintay na nagintay yung female employee. Then, um, naging vice president na siya sa Alibaba. Then when it when it went public in 2014, mm, I think she got seven hundred million for that. All right. So, what am I driving at? Okay, what am I driving at LinkedIn? If the current generation, if the current generation of um, employees would uh, would think that way, we would we probably would have more entrepreneurs right now. All right, but the financial impact of this health crisis, we would um, most of them would not feel it right now. Most of them would not feel it right now. Well, because when you're a college graduate, you would um, of course you would um, you would seek work in some of the finest workplaces on earth okay that's the pitfall of college graduates these days they want to work with they want to work in big companies right away off the bat they want to work in um, high paying call centers loyalty is not in their vocabulary if they followed the example of um of this longtime female employee of jack ma Long term, it 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 might as, it might have served them in the end. Long term, because well, startup companies show show promise. Okay, they show a lot of promise. It's now up to the management team on on where it should go. Okay, if the management team is employee centered, you should stay on that company. Okay. You should stay on that company. Startup companies, when it comes to startup companies, there's room for growth. That's a given. Here's a well. Here's a power tip for you, LinkedIn. Loyalty is well. Loyalty takes a lot of practice. Why? Because well, if you're not in it for the money first, and growth is your uh, and growth is your number one priority. Then loyalty uh, should be loyalty should be a skill of yours. What you're seeing right now, Instagram, is my new lap mic. Okay, I got my earphones on, and because of this, the the built-in sound card of this mic. I can now use my earphones and it sounds really, really good. But what am I driving at Instagram by uh, showing you my latest gadget? Well, I don't know if, you, uh, if you're up to speed, but my old lab mic gave out. All right. I bought that for... Uh, for 800 pesos over at Shopee, uh, almost two years ago, okay. almost two years ago, I bought this for only 500 plus pesos, and it comes with a built-in sound card. Should be more expensive, right? But I got a better deal from Lazada. I saw a better deal from Lazada, so I just took advantage of it. <clears throat> Taking advantage of um, uh, better deals should be uh, should be a thing for everybody, not just for not just for poor and middle class people, but also for rich people. All right? I don't know. Okay, um, 
Maybe that's why they're rich because they got better deals. Probably. Uh, I, love to, I love to learn some pointers from them, right? Believe me, I am. But technology, well, this is proof that technology is getting, um, is getting uh, cheaper and more accessible by the year. All right. <clears throat> My old lab mic didn't have its own sound card. My new one has one. So what would normally cost a lot more now costs a lot less. All right. And if you're still if you're still missing out on these on these kinds of deals, you're not um let's call this you're not getting the most bang from your from your buck. So here's a power tip for you, Instagram. <clears throat> Never ever ignore better deals. I just had this um, realization that content creation has been slow for me um, in regards to other platforms, but still, even though it's not on schedule, I'm still making this um, still making this entry for TikTok. Just goes to show you that uh, well, I'm married to my content. <laughs> well. Uh, I'm sure some of you may find it creepy, okay, right now. But it's what it's what my sentiments are right now. Okay, I don't have a girlfriend right now, and I'm I've been totally single since 2009. All right, I've been totally single since 2009, and up to now I haven't uh, haven't been into a serious relationship yet. All right. But so far, the only serious relationship I have is uh, with my content creation. Okay, so yeah, uh huh. TikTok, here's a declaration for you. I am married to my content. Which I'd like to. Uh post this diaries entry my first in a long time actually for this platform what I've noticed is well um, twitch is a toxic environment right you got chatters uh, you got uh, when it's an, when it's an open chat actually um, chatters maligning you uh, sometimes if you're um, they're they're too much of a sip for their own good and well there are several ways of actually dealing with such people well mine has been uh, so far effective i've limited my chat to followers only all right but when push comes to shove ignoring the chat is not always the best solution but here's one solution I would, I know, okay, I believe in my heart and soul that that is going to work. That will separate you from, as a streamer, from the chatters, from toxic chatters. Have you ever tried ending your stream if it gets too toxic? I would do that. I would absolutely do that. <clears throat> well, streaming on Twitch can take a lot of time out of your day. Okay, this is a known fact. And to let toxic chatters waste your time like that, it's never worth it. Right? It is never worth it. So here's my power tip for you twitch when push comes to shove when it gets too toxic for everybody's good just end the stream
I just um, got this from the from my email that um, Nightingale.com sent me about a quote by Ralph Waldo Emerson. In all this infinite wisdom, yeah, I hold I wholeheartedly agree with him on this. Okay. People these days um, would um, instantly seek. The monetary gains from their work or um, from their content if you're a content creator like me or influencer or um, they would instantly um, let's call this they would instantly demand consciously or, or subconsciously or subconsciously they would instantly demand um, that they be paid right away I think they um, I think they're not familiar with the works of Ralph Waldo Emerson, right? This particular quote is part and parcel of that. Well, it's all you have. As when you're starting out, it's the first thing you gain. The satisfaction of work getting done. Right? And the best thing you could do is to thank is to thank the universe for it thank god for it okay thank your clients for it or thank the or thank a total stranger for um, recognizing for for um uh giving him uh giving offering him your services for free all right that is the um, the actual reward of a good day's work for a good day's content or a good day's business. The fact that you have done the work and more. So Telegram, well, here's my power tip for you. Okay. Don't thank people for their money. Thank for the work they have given you.